Hello everyone, Alex here from warnoffkeys.com and in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a nickname command using Discord.js. Real quick, before we start, if you do need help with anything then feel free to ask within the warnoffkeys Discord server. We have a bunch of people joining every day as you can see here. Once you've joined you can scroll down and ask your Discord questions within the JavaScript channel and I'm sure someone will be able to help you out. Also, if you enjoy helping people, then currently we are hosting a contest where whoever can help the most people within the Discord is going to get a $25 prize. This prize might change in the future, so if you are interested, feel free to join the Discord and check out this Thanks Leaderboard channel here. So with that said, let's get started. I'm going to be using the Commando framework, but if you are familiar with a different framework, then feel free to use that instead. I'm going inside of my Commands folder, and inside of my MISC folder, I'm going to make a new file called nickname.js. Now in order to create a command using commando, we first have to import commando, and then we have to export a class, which is going to extend commando.command, basically giving us all the functionality we need in order to create an actual command. So first off, let's import commando, const commando equals require discord.js-commando, and then we have to export a class, so module.exports equals a class we can call this nickname command. And this class has to extend or inherit using the extends keyword commando.command. Now within here, we have to create a constructor method. This is going to be something that we ran whenever a new instance of this class is created. This is going to have one parameter, which is our client. And then within here, we have to call the constructor method for the specific command class. In order to do that, we have to call the super function and then we have to pass in two different arguments. The first one is the client, which we now have access to, thanks to our constructor's parameters. And the second one is going to be an object, which is going to be different pieces of information we need for this command, such as the name. So this name is going to just simply be Nick. And then after this, we need to have a group, which is going to be the folder that we're in, because that's how I have my command project set up. We are within the misc folder, so this will be called misc. We can then have a member name, which will be the name of this command throughout this entire group, often used for a help command. We can just call this Nick and keep it simple. We then want user permissions, which is going to be an array of permissions that the user who's running the command must have. We can specify manage nicknames as well as change nickname. And we also can have client permissions, which would be an array of permissions that the actual bot must have. We can have manage nicknames and change nickname. This will ensure that we have the proper permissions in order to change the nickname of someone. After that, we can then add in a description, which is going to be changes the nickname of a user. Of course, you can add in whatever you want. Next, we'll need a run method. And within this method, we're going to have two different parameters. The first one is going to be our message, which will then give us access to the actual tagged user. And then we can actually change that user's nickname. But what do we change the nickname to? Well, we need access to arguments. And that's going to be all of the text that includes the tagged user. So we do have to do some additional changes. For example, if I were to say at whoever and then testing as the nickname, the entire nickname would become this entire string. We don't really want that. So we want to be able to actually remove the actual tagged user. There's a couple ways to do this. But the way I'm going to opt into is to make our arguments an array. We can do that with arg type being changed to multiple. And now our arguments is an array, so we can actually remove this element from our arguments using args.shift. Now before this, we want to make sure that we actually gain access to the mentioned user. So I can say const target equals message.mentions, which is going to give us access to all mentioned users as well as all mentioned channels. We can get access to the user specifically by accessing the user's property and then saying first, we'll return the first thing that was tagged. But this returns a user object and not a guild member object, and there is a difference there. A user object contains a base information that is true across any server that they're in. The guild member object contains the same type of information, but also contains information that is going to be related towards that user's relationship with that guild. For example, when that user joined their guild, their current nickname, their current roles in that guild, and things like that. So we want to gain access to a member. We can do that simply by saying const member equals message.guild.members.cache. 
get, and this can take in an actual ID of a member, which is the same thing as target ID. So at this stage, we have the ability to actually change this member's nickname, but how do I know to actually do that? Well, if we look inside of the documentation at discord.js.org, we can click on the documentation tab up here. And scrolling down, we can find guild member right here. And we get to see a bunch of different properties and methods that we can use, one of which is the set nickname method. I can go ahead and click on this and provide some information, such as that it takes in two arguments. The first one is the actual nickname, the second one is the reason. We're just going to be sticking with the first argument for now. But now that we know this information, we can go back. And now that we've removed the first argument from the array, which means that this array is now only going to contain the words that we want to have the nickname be, we can then actually join this array back into a string. So I can say const nickname equals args.join. And this is going to take an array, let's say, of hello world and convert this into a string such as hello world. Now it adds a space here because that is the parameter we passed in. If I were to add in an equal sign, then it would then create a string like this. So we want to make sure that you pass in a space here when using the join method. Now we can go ahead and say member.set nickname. We can pass in the nickname and then we can reply to the command sender. So message.reply, you changed the nickname. We can then save this. Going into my bots, I can run this with node index.js. And now going into a testing server, this bot has the owner role, which is going to have change and manage nickname permissions. And this dummy account does not have a role because it is important that we can only change the nickname of a user that has lower roles than us. So we could then say exclamation point nick at dummy account. We can then say testing. And it's going to change the user to testing right here. If I click on it, we see testing, and then we see their actual username right there. So this is how you're going to create a nickname command using Discord.js v12. Thanks for watching this Discord.js tutorial. If you want to learn more about Discord.js, consider clicking on the playlist you see on your screen now. If you need help, feel free to leave a comment or ask in the Warnoff Keys Discord, which can be found in the video description.